Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We work with a lot of nonprofits and churches, and three issues always. Um, budget, you know, is, is an issue, and knowledge, of course, for most people is. It seems to be, you know, especially uh, short sighted uh, with schools and churches and nonprofits. Uh, people just don't have any understanding at all of what's required. So, there's a whole educational process that has to go on first, you know, so they get rid of all the myths and misconceptions and who knows what else they've been told. And it's amazing, you know, that, and then people act on some of this information and then there's no way what they bought will solve the problem. And as you, as they're explaining their situation to me on the phone, I know what they're going to say next. I know the end of the story before it's been told because, you know, I know they're using a half inch or a one inch piece of material, whatever it is. It could be the finest, most exotic material in the world. It's one inch is deep and they have a 70 hertz problem. It's not going to work. So <clears throat> they got low budgets is the main issue that they have and then lack of knowledge and then space requirements. You have enough space to treat the problem because most of the problem is reverb reverb is three three brackets for reverb that we have to look at 35 percent coverage 50 percent coverage and 65 percent coverage those are three now let's say this this gets you a two second reverb time this might get you three and this might get you four but if you started at six Going down to four is huge. Not so much in the others. But the bottom line here is it's all linear and there's relationships to it. And it all can be calculated and designed for. So the treatment coverage must be the four walls and maybe the ceiling. When we do our design work in these large venues, we don't use the ceiling. We try not to. We try to get enough coverage on the four walls. If we can't, we got to go to the ceiling. But there's no joy in hanging things overhead, especially when you're working with 15, 20, 25 foot ceiling heights. It's not ladders anymore, it's scaffolding. Or, you know, some sort of assist lift, lift system up there. So it's, you know, it's not easy. And usually there's not enough budget to cover the surface areas. So remember our three brackets, 35, 50, and 65, are most expensive, obviously, most coverage, best results. So you can stage it. You can do two walls to match the budget. We'll pick out the two worst walls. It's usually the side walls in churches. And then treat those. Now here's what's going to happen. Okay. The untreated surface areas, they're going to get louder. So you could, in essence, shoot yourself in the foot by just doing two walls. We do have churches and, and large venue rooms that do do that because they simply don't have budget to do four. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you something. When they treat the two walls, it's not 30 days before they call me, say, Dennis, we gotta treat those other two. Now they get it. See, when they hear it, they get it. They necessarily believe me when I told them, but now they do, so they seem to find the money at that point. It's funny how, how things work. So the DIY approach is a way to work within these, these schools, churches, nonprofit budgets. So we do the design, send you the materials you build and install per our design. So we do all the, the homework, send you the drawings, tell you what you need to build and where you need to put it, and send you the materials. That's a good marriage for our, us right now as a company because we're incredibly swamped with product sales. Can be up to six to nine months out on new orders. So we always say we do about 60-40, 40% or 60% us building stuff and 40% DIY. So we always have DIY inventory for people. I, I insist we keep inventory for that. We don't have inventory on our products. We build them all by hand to order. So it's just simply too expensive to have inventory. That's for the long design weight. So savings, if you do it yourself using a DIY approach, 40, 50% because that's labor costs. 
It's materials and labor, materials and labor. If you don't have to pay labor, I wish I didn't have to pay my people to build stuff. Wow, my profits would go crazy, but that's not how it works. And I can't build them myself. I could, but who's going to run the company and, and answer questions? No one. So we have to have divisions of labor. Church example, we just walked through uh, two wall staging and then finding the money quickly to do the four walls. So it's just production work. I mean, you're going to have the same, pretty much the same size panel on each wall. It might vary by depth, depending on your problems, frequency and amplitude of issues. It could be four inches, could be six inches, could be eight inches, but it's somewhere between four and eight inches. But it's not going to be the same on every wall. And any company that tells you it is, they're not, they, they're either ignorant of the physics or they're lying to you. That's the bottom line. Because no two surface areas are the same. Even in large rooms, there's a linearity to that paradigm also. So we send you a drawing, a layout drawing. Put this unit here. 18 inches away, put this unit. 30, 36 off the, I don't know, whatever it is. You won't have any doubt about how to do it. We've done thousands. So DIY approach for nonprofit people, companies that are on budget, you know, have reverb issues that are the main issues. You know, the, how long a sound stays on around in the room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. DIY nonprofit treatment. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.